Hazy and welcome to my channel Hazy Crazy Arts. Here's some little ideas I'm doing today with paint. I'm um, using two different sorts. I get my old paint out because I can't find anyone. <laughs> but I, some of this is a brand new paint that I got for Mother's Day. Um, thank you very much to my son Declan for that. <laughs> he's given me, he's got me some, um, what is it, Liquitex um, paint. So that was amazing. Um, so I'll show you how to draw, how to paint. I think it's these. Not those and that. And um, yeah, and I'll just show you the other ones basically. Is it this one as well? No, that was the other day. It's this one. Okay, they're the ones under, and then there's obviously other the ones we've got suggestions for as well, which is so easy to do. I mean, I've got videos on drawing those sort of plants as well. Um, so easy to do. You can do that. It's mini. The mini, did I say? They're two and a quarter by two inches, about six centimetres by five or something like that. Um, and then four, four centimetres or one and a half inches by six. Most of them are about six inches tall, apart from that one, which is about four centimetres by... Um, let's have a look. Four and a half centimetres by, I don't know, about... Um, I'm not sure how big they are. Well, it's about one and a half inches one way. That's because it was an end one and I did them by accident. But <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Before we go, um, give me a thumbs up if you'd like to join me today. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much. It does help my channel to grow. And I've got papers and coffee, as I've already said. Okay, then. so let's go. Right then, so what I'm doing today is painting the edges of this. This should be an extra video, depending. Okay, and I think we've got a bit of a mix here. I think my palette is upside down and we mixed a bit of the orange with the green. I've got four colours I want to use. I wanted them a bit more muted, but <laughs> I've not added any extra colour to make them muted. I've added white, actually. Um, right, so the brown is made from all the colours I have in my palette. It is, uh, what's it, Liquitex? What am I using? Liquitex? Here it is. This is the white one. Liquitex um, Professional Acrylic Gouache. So it's acrylic and gouache mixed with Liquitex. I've actually made it using my gouache um, acrylic and, and li Liquitex as well. And it, it, I've added a lot of water in this and it does actually, it's a lot better when you add water. <laughs> so I thought, oh, it's I'm not too keen. And then when I added water, I thought, oh, it works well. So I'm making these little cards. Okay, I'm to pronounce them at S's. Okay. <laughs> husband says if I do that it's because I'm happy right um so actually some I think some oranges got mixed up and perhaps a green little bit of green's gone into the orange because it was upside down uh yes it's all spilt out <laughs> never mind yeah so uh, all the colors I added to make the brown it was uh added white as well so some um blue was it blue no no some I think it was green red yellow and um some white in there to make that brown. I'm going to do that in a minute and I'm going to use a different brush. Okay. Oh, it's absolutely covered in green as well. Mm. So it's basically going to doodle with some paint. Okay, if you haven't got this and you've got, I don't know, watercolours might do it. I might get my watercolours out just to see how it goes. This is 130, no, it's 140 pound card. Or if you like, if it's if you use GSM, it is um, three hundred. Am I too far up there? I'm using brown because a lot of people like the muted colour. That's why I'm using brown um, for for like um, uh, uh, <laughs> I say antique vintage journals. Okay. So right, let's have a look at some of the doodles I've done. Okay, I'm going to get my thin, I've got some really, really thin paint brushes somewhere. Um, I've got one on the out there, is that one? No, that's not a thin one. Oh, where's the thin ones? Oh, there's one. Okay, let's try this, I don't know if it's going to work. Put some, plenty of water on it. Okay. And now I'm going to put some, I'm going to doodle on this, I'm going to do that thing I did yesterday, and I think it looks really nice, just this. Let's do a little doodle down the page like that. I can put different colours on. Let's put a bit of orange on there. I didn't. I think I just did one. Yeah, that orange has turned out a nice muted colour because I think it's got green. I think some green got mixed in. Oh, there it is. 
Okay, sometimes I do dip the brush in even though I've got colour on it <laughs> to get to, and it eventually gets another colour. So that's green and hopefully, yeah, there it is. It will go back to orange. Um, purple as well, let's do that. I'm doing the mute, I'm doing what I did just purposely made some muted, muted colours. Okay, so hopefully this will get a bit thinner so it looks like it's behind. Oh, I like those. Oh. I'll see if I can find the one I did. I think it's blue. It's the one I did bright blue. And it looks really good because it looks like all the other ones are going behind. So, yeah. Didn't, oh, it's there. It's in the one I made. So, okay, this video is coming out on Thursday, so I won't show you that yet. <laughs> so that's what I did with that. Look, oh, it's actually turquoise. Isn't it? Can you see that? Turquoise. Yeah, the light's on. What are we, what are we doing? So that looks, looks like some bits behind because it's gone all thin. That, I didn't quite achieve that with that, but that does. That looks really nice. Might be able to do a little bit. Let's do some colours. Yeah. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> so now I'm going to see if I can find a... a did, I've been shaking me white. This is it must be a really old one. I used to label them and then it must have lasted. And we can put some little whatever's on there. We can put some dashes. Just dry quickly because it's got acrylic in it. I don't think gouache takes long to dry either. I'm going to get my watercolour paints out in a minute and see how we do with those. Let's just do this. I'm not using that because it's still wet. Um, that one is actually as well, never mind. Anyway, that's the sort of thing. I think that looks really cute. That's a very, very tiny little, uh, is it one and a half by, just over one and a half, tiny little card there. Make it into a little journaling card, yeah, and things like that. Uh, yeah, you can do that on the other side. What I've done as well is, before we get my watercolours, or we could do it in watercolours, <laughs> is, um, and I've used, I can use what you like, because I'm going to make some lines on the back for the, um, yeah, look, we can have nice rough edges. You don't have to have smooth edges. It take You can do that if you want to take your time, but I'm not going to do that because I like the look of it. You might like smooth edges, so you'd have to, what you could do is mask it off and do it, yeah. And then take the mask off and I'll use some washi tape or some masking tape let's get some let's see which way around that doesn't matter which way around and then just do some lines even if they're wobbly that wobbly lines yeah and that makes a little homemade look looking journaling mini journaling card that would fit in a pocket a tiny pocket wouldn't it yeah let's get some let's do something with some i've got to, i've got to remember where my watercolors are are they in there Hold on. I can't find my uh, new ones, but I've got these. I, well, I haven't really looked for them. They must be around somewhere. I've got these old ones, and there's no reason why we can't use those. Old ones in inverted commas. They're probably about two years old. Um, let's find something just to try that on. Yeah, it's a bit. Let's get um, some colour on there. Just getting some, I don't know what they are, orangey colour, I think. Oh, it's come up as a. Oh, it's come up with a brown. That's not brown. Oh, it is. It is brown. It's okay. I don't forget. I've mixed my colours. It's actually yellow ochre. So I'm going to get some. Mix it with some orange. Yeah. So I'm going to have two tone. I think. Oh, <laughs> it's not come up as two tone. It's actually come up as one tone. Oh no, it has now. Right. So what another thing I did was. Um, that's with those though, not with the watercolours, with, with some uh, concentric, just normal circles. So, Right, the watercolour, let me show you because I've, I don't think that worked. Let me do it again. Right, watercolours. Okay. Because I had it on the two times still, it didn't work. But that's the one I did and I think that looks really nice. Okay, so let me just show you on the, um, yeah, yellow ochre and orange, one take yellow ochre and orange around the edge. Okay, and I've got a thicker brush now. Yellow ochre, orange around the edge. 
I'll just flick it around. Yeah, I can paint it. Yeah, this is, did I say this is um, 300 GSM or 140 pound card? So I'm going to put some, I don't rinse my brush very often, <laughs> put some circles on. Okay, anything like anything like that it doesn't mean to say it's got to be perfect by any way, any means at all. I'll just rinse my brush a little bit there. Okay, do some. That's purple, and it's not really purple because I've mixed it with the brown. But it makes a different sort of muted muted colour, which I like. And I'm going to add some orange to the purple. <laughs> it's fun doing this, you know. And then. Um, Oh, I did that lovely green, didn't I? Oh, yeah, what was it? I did. I think I left the um, orange on the brush and did some green. Oh, yeah. That's my, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get more circles in than I did before. <laughs> I think I did less. Right. Okay. So then, when, when that's dried, which won't be, which is taking its time. Yeah, that one's got different colours. Use the same colours, lot. Yeah, that one's more brown than that one. Um, we can carry on, can't we? Let's put that on there, like that. Right, and we can go around that. Oh, where's my thick pen? Uh, thick one. Oh, I'm going to get that green. I love that green. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's tried. Oh, it looks, it looks quite gold. Okay, it's an unknown number. Trying to ring me. <laughs> so I'm not answering that one. Right, okay. Ooh. Not an unknown as in unknown. <laughs> unknown as in I don't recognise the number. Right, there we go. So that's that. Oh yeah. So you can use uh, a ruler or whatever to do lines, but I just like doing this. If you can't do that, it does take practice. I mean it's not brilliant anyway, more often mine are skew not skew whiff, but they're um got bumps in them. So I've done a little journaling card there. And then, as I did with the other one, which I will show you now. I will show you on two, so you can see it. Okay. And um, just did some little circles here and there with some uni posca. Yeah, very useful, these uni poscas. They're very, very white. They come up very opaque, very white. So um, as long as you shake them, shake them, but don't keep pressing them in because they'll just leak. Okay, which you can do if you want to make spatters, <laughs> but I would now not do that. Right, let me see what else I've done on the, I should have some more somewhere. And I can give you examples of what I've done. Here's one, sorry about my arm. That's, and, oh, there's a circle one. That's one I did, circles lock. I can put the Uniposca on. Let me get it on one. And then otherwise I'll be showing you and, and and you won't be able to see them. So that's a that's a bad thing, isn't it? Right, what else have I got? So there's these are all the ones I've done. So there's the circle one, which is so easy to do. And that with the just messing about with the which I didn't show it was the other one, wasn't it? This mini one. Yeah, so I, I like to edge them first. I think it gives them a bit of a frame. It doesn't matter to me whether they're straight or not. I think that gives it a bit of a handmade look rather than a machine you're not a machine you don't need to act like one <laughs> so oh, there's my all right there's a pile of them oh, i've done several with uh, a couple more with, oh yeah look i've done that one with the circles as well see circles were very popular with me <laughs> i haven't done the um, uniposca on that one so i'm going to do that one now i'm just going to put some thin little lines here and there yeah there we go so that was actually um the gouache and um, um, acrylic mix with li Liquitex. Yeah, because I think acrylic does um, sometimes comes up so pale unless you've got the matte acrylic, uh, which does work better. Let's put, I can put some of that on there because it's now dry. Okay, yeah. Okay, and there's a plant on that with a little, all you do is lines, lines and blobs, lines, blobs, dots, blobs. Uh, what's the other one? Circles. So that's all we, that's all we do. That's all it is. It's just doing little and then branches off and I've done the odd leaf and then that one's got those just round flowers. So circles, put Uniposca pen on it as well. 
and there's the bad lines at the back <laughs> but that looks so cute don't you? i love that looks a bit like an under the under the sea um see uh, sort of uh feel to that the bubbles and the waves um let's have a look what else i've got, I've got more than that i've got another one with a that's more filled in i don't know where i've put it that's not it uh no it's not on the I might have put it on the prototype of that. Um, well, I have no idea where it is. It must be here. It's basically this, but more coloured in. I did the background first. I'm not sure what it looks like, but if, I, if I'm on video, I can sort of, <laughs> I can criticise it better. Okay. Oh, hold well on, what's this? Oh, hi, ah, here it is, found it. Found another one as well, right. Okay, that's my Thursday project, so we can ignore that for now. Right, okay, and a ticket as well, yeah. So that's a ticket with just chunks taken out. I suppose you can do that on uh, video. Anyway, that's what I've done. Oh, yeah, it's that one. Yeah, so there's that one with the um, upside down. Uh, little flowery things, abstract uh, bits and dots and all sorts on that. I've done a line there, around there. A, lot, a line across there, then underneath I did another line. And some blobby flowers and all sorts. And then there's that idea as well. I think that's really cute. Know if you like that bright, the brightness of that. But I do. I do myself. And then obviously they, there's what I'm talking about. The really badly drawn lines. Which I think looks amazing. <laughs> and that as well. That's a bright green. That's a muted green. But I, li I like that colour. Yeah, so that's there's some more ideas. So it's just, it's just that. And then I've gone around the edge first. And then just drawn lines down and across and not even made sure that the I think I did it that way around actually. And then I've just put some uniposca pen to look like the white's showing through and things like that. So that's amazing, isn't it? They're so easy to do, aren't they? So hopefully you like these ideas. I've got lots more I can do. Uh other patterns as well, basically some um um I could also do things like this. This is just an example. Uh use that sort of idea. I've done those. I've done those on video. I think I did. <laughs> and um, put some facts on it instead, instead of drawing. Uh, print some facts out and go around the edge with that. And perhaps like over the paper you've stuck on as well. Yeah, anything like that. Yeah, that's a really good. Really, really good. Interesting stuff. I mean, I've got that idea for doodles i mean i've got doodles on everything and it's so easy to do and it's, it's yourself it's yourself you just get used to doing it it's very relaxing to do as well yeah so do it like nobody's watching yeah that's it <laughs> that's what i do do it like nobody's watching <laughs> there we go so i do hope you like my idea today i uh, tried to make it a short video just for an extra just for an extra little bit there hopefully um that will come out tomorrow um and um yeah, I could even put words you can draw words on it as well that's what I've done things like that okay I've got one coming out oh I've got a video coming out today yeah? I don't even know how it's doing <laughs> um okay oops okay right so if you like my idea please give me a thumbs up um they're so tiny I mean I've these some of these are two and two and a quarter by two two and a quarter by one and one and seven eighths two and a quarter by one and a half uh, inches so um a centimeter wise let's see four inches is, is one and a half inches um so over two inches is about six centimeters or something like that yeah things like that so and you could probably draw them better than me yeah that's i like that it's very and i love the way they they've come out on that it's amazing isn't it i think that's just about them all that i did and that one's a bit more spaced out Okay, and anybody who's uh, subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. I forgot to finish that one off. And uh, you could just leave it like that if you like and just do lines on both sides. <laughs> but I'm just using a bit of paint, a bit of colour, a bit of paint. And um, perhaps we could see stick some of that on. Or something. They're doodly, doodly things, aren't they? Doodly put one inside there. They're like... Um, Thumb notches, but I've I've actually drawn circles and just got the circles in half. And uh, yeah, papers on Kofi, yeah, papers on Kofi, papers on Kofi. Um, I'm just going to show you my current one if I've got it. No, it's there. Yeah, current one is this. 
not the current one, the one I've put on recently is this, they're all current ones. Um, so that's on there, that's available on there for nothing. Okay, absolutely free. It's not just that little big, it's, it's say, A4 or letter size paper if you like. Um, okay, and goodbye. Thank you so much for watching.